Hello everyone, you are watching the YouTube station identification of one of the best Massachusetts resident YouTubers. I'm here in the basement. No, I'm not Ken Ober, and it's not MTV's remote control. This is the 100th episode of WEML TV's Channel 77, and I am Eric Lima, your host. What's going on? 100 episodes, man. Who would have thought that this show started 10 years ago under the name of the People's Limo, which I shortened it up to TPL, and then after the controversy that happened in the first two, uh, in between, uh, not the first two years, between 2016 and 2018, I decided to open up a new channel in 2000, the beginning of 2018, known as EML 77 TV. And now, after the controversy that happened last year, where all the crap started ha started up again, this time around in 2021, I changed the name of this channel to WEML TV Channel 77. Ten years in YouTube, over <coughs> over 2,000 episodes, uh, 3,000 uh, videos I made on YouTube. It's unbelievable how I have um, came a long way in 10 years. And uh, so how do I celebrate 10 years on a YouTube, uh, celebrate 100 episodes of this um of this illustrious uh, season. Should I um, talk about, you know, some serious goings on? You know, here's the thing. You know, I went to a, one on a Discord server and someone's already complained about, you know, special reports interrupting uh, the price. Right. And one of my friends kind of objected, to, didn't like the fact that they were complaining about it because it's something important was the national emergency. You know, and you know, I can I can get my friend's point, but here's the thing that I you know, I think what they're trying to get at, um, what the, these guys are going to get at here is they're sick and tired of the negativity going on in this world. They're sick and tired of watching the news. They're sick and tired of um, living in fear. And I think they want to you know not worry about a thing and go on with their regular lives. If things happen, it's going to happen. But here's the thing: I think everyone is just sick and tired of the negativity and the drama, you know, and everything else that's. It's been going on in the world, and I I know I understand that we need to be well aware of what's going what's going on and all that. I think it's just a, a matter of sick and tired of watching the news, negativity, and all this good stuff. And it's really really sad and disappointing that we had to put up with the interruptions and all. And um, I'm not against the uh, you know the, but that's the way it is. You know, sometimes, you know, shows get preempted because of special reports. And it's kind of sad, you know, because we, we don't want to focus on the negative negative of, of, the, of life, ne negative aspects of life, including watching the news. And it kind of sucks, you know. I hate, I hate watching the news. In fact, I hate the news, period. Because all of this is there's nothing but bad stuff going on. And that's and we're and you know we're sick of the news media trying to be. Fear, I think we're sick and tired of being fear mongered by the news media. And I think that's what it is. You know what I mean? So, so that's the reason why a lot of people are sick and tired of, uh, you know, sick and tired of interruptions of special news reports. You know, and I can understand if it's important, national emergency. I get it, but there's, there's, there comes a time we're just going to say that's it. We just, you know, because I think it, you know, the negative, the emotions of a person can really be affected by what's going on in the world, it, and. And a lot of us nowadays are very, very sensitive uh, from a mental standpoint about what's been going on. And it's really, really tough. So it's really tough to accept what's been going on in the world. It's tough to accept all the stuff that's going on. And, and, and people expect us to, you know, be tough. And blah, blah, blah. Sometimes we get oversensitive about a lot of things. And I mean, I, can, I get it and I understand, but sometimes... You gotta look at it from the perspective of the person who's been very emotionally, because sometimes you know sometimes it would trigger emotions that are not good. You know what I mean? So and that's probably the reason why a lot of people are very angry that Price is Right keeps getting interrupted and all that. Now, now I've always respected the Price is Right, one of the longest running game shows in history, um, right now in television history. You know, well respected. But you know, we just need. You know, we're just sick. We're just sick and tired of negativity and the drama, and you know, and everything going on. Everything going on in the world, the shootings and everything else. I think that's why. That's why I chose to do this YouTube because I want to get everybody out of that. You know, I want everybody to have fun. But there are people out there that are trying to bring that fun down. They're trying to destroy that. 
They try destroying you. They target you. And by antagonizing you, accusing you of stuff that you never did in your life. And, it, you know, and I'm at that point right now where I just say, you know what, screw you. I'm going to find... I'm going to find you, I'm going to block you, and then I'm going to delete your comment because I'm not going to have any drama. I'm not going to, you know, I'm getting sick and tired of the negativity going on. So I'm like, okay, I'm done with it, you know. I'm just, you know, screw it, you know what I mean? And, you know, it gets, you know, so that's why I've been doing what I've been doing, not responding to those who have been um, trying to drink, bring my mood down, don't need to, you know, and everything else in between. So... I figured, you know, I want to let it, let everyone aware what, what, you know, that's why there's been a lot of drama between friends of mine, which I have decided not to get involved in. I'm not going to mention what's been going on and whatnot. I know it's been in, in the Discord service and all, and I'm not, I'm not mad at anybody. That's why I've been making rare appearances on there, and very sp sporadic appearances because of that reason. Because, and I don't, you know, 2018 it all started on one channel, one server, and then, so, and sometimes it will, you know, there's another problem on another server, another problem on this server, drama this, people insulting people, and all that. As I, you know, and I, I'm at the point where I'm going to say, listen, to be between you guys, don't get me involved. I said that one time. I said, do not get me involved in any beef you guys have, because every time I get in the middle of something, I get the one get, I'm the one that always gets in trouble for it, and I'm the one getting targeted for it, and I didn't appreciate that one bit. So I've always been a respectful person, and just listen. You guys are not friends, that's fine. You know, time heals on wounds. Be one day people will get together, but you know, I'm kind of very disappointed in my friends and just you know you know, like you, you guys can't rationally talk about it and just, you know you know, say, Okay, I'm gonna block you and all that, you know, it's like you know, there's people that I don't know and I have to block because they're being disrespectful and they don't know me from a hole in a wall, you know. And that's the reason why I, you know, this is who I am. This is the way I've been, you know. I was raised up in a certain way. I was you know, I was taught in a certain way. Um, yes, I make mistakes. I'm a human being, just like everybody else. You see, the thing is that I usually talk about my past because I'm 44 years old, and I talk about my life's experience. I've been through a lot of things that you young kids are going through, you know. You know, no, no more in the moments of when I was the age type of thing, okay. So, like, I can understand where you're coming from, but you have to, you know, I'm trying to give you sage advice about how to get out of there or, you know, try to make yourselves better. Now, I, won't, I would like to help, but sometimes you don't want to accept my help, so you decide to insult my age instead. You know, make fun of um, where I live and all that instead. You know, listen, yeah, it's not the best life for me right now. In society's eyes, you know, I'm not living the best life, so to speak. You know, um, but I don't see it that way. I see it, you know trying to live my life one day at a time, one step at a time, you know, and just you know, try to take things one day at a time. Whatever happens, happens. Have fun. And that's why I bring a lot of person. I bring, that's why I decided to do this is because of that reason. So it's, uh, you know, to, you know, I want, I like to speak positive to people and let people know, hey, I'm going to be okay. All right. Yeah. I may not have the best life right now at the moment, but I'm not going to say my life sucks. You know, society thinks my life sucks, but I'm not listening to society. I listen to what I believe and what in my heart. I don't believe my life sucks. It's just a matter of, okay, I'm not in the best position, but I'm going to make the most of it. You know? Making the most of it. If people have a problem with it, that's too bad. That's on their part. They don't understand what I go through on a daily basis. They don't understand what, what goes from my mind. And they say, oh, we don't want to understand. And here's an idea. Don't bother me with your stupid opinions. Simple as that. You know, a friend of mine once said, when I want your opinion, I'll give it to you. You know, so, there you go. So, I just choose to have fun. I choose to have, you know, bring you guys the fun content, the funny content here. And my personality, I like to be real. And then, there's some, friend, some friends of mine, they say they appreciate my realness, and that's really cool. That's why I decided to do it. If I have to be real, I have to be real. But I want to have fun and just, you know... Let you guys know, give you words of encouragement, and just uh, let's rock and roll with this thing. I know life's not been easy nowadays because of the pandemic and everything else, but hey, just try to take it one thing, at, one step at a time. Breathe, relax, try to have a good time. Um, find something to do. Don't go stir crazy. Don't take, don't take your anger out on anybody. Just relax and say, okay. Try to think, you know, think good thoughts. Be creative. Well, you know. If you can't, you know, be creative, you know, if you have to go outside, breathe a little bit, relax, enjoy nature, whatever you have to do to keep your mind at ease, to keep your mind off 
the um, the negative crap going on in the world right now. I know there's lots of negativity. We had, just recently had a shooting happen in Atlanta, which I feel bad. And then you have people cancel culture and all that good stuff. And, you know, and the politics have been going worse. It's you know, it is a cool. It is a you know, there there are some times where we need to draw the line. Say enough of the news, enough enough of the negativity. Let's have fun. Let's forget about what you know. Forget about what, you know, Hakuna Matata. You know, that's it's, it means no worries. You know, we don't we don't want to worry. I'm tired. I'm tired of worrying about every little thing in life. You know, I'm tired of being a worrying. Well, you know, worrying is a sin. You know, I'm tired of being this worry wart. You know, like, do not worry about anything, man. Just go out and have fun, okay? Just do, do, you know, just live, give, live your life one day at a time. Have fun. And I know, I know we, we lose loved ones. We lose people that we love and friends and all that. Just try to be, you know, try to be the strength for your, for your loved ones and friends, you know. And try to smile and try to say, hey, I'm not expecting everybody to smile, be happy, all oh, 24-7, you know, and be goofy and have fun. No, just, you know, yeah, you got to be real once in a while. And being real is cool, but you got to really, just want to relax. Say, okay, you know, sometimes it happens, there's, there's a time we mourn for a while and then we just, you know, Let's, let's live. Let's live our lives better. Try to be better. Try to be excellent to each other, and have a lot of fun. You know what I mean? So I want, I want to bring the fun to you guys. How about that? I'm going to tell some of the worst jokes ever. You know, me and my. I had a friend. I used to work at, when I worked at Ruby Tuesday. I had a friend, Tom Prenda, who tells some of the lamest jokes ever. And I figured I want to out lame Tom Prenda. So I got the lamest jokes ever. I got some of the stupidest jokes ever. Many of you were going, "Oh my God," and all. And, and cringe and yeah cringy jokes all right that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this is cringy jokes the cringiest jokes I've ever made and some of the jokes would be like Ew, that joke sucks dude yeah that joke sucks hey so so I want to come up with the cringiest jokes ever it's cringy joke day here on the hundredth episode of WEML TV channel 77. Here we go. I got some cringy jokes. Here come the cringy. Here comes the cringiness of my jokes. The cringy jokes. Hey, here's a joke for you. You know, when I when I work at the mall, I meet all sorts of strange, crazy people. You know, so I met this strange lady, middle-aged lady. All right, but here's what's strange about her. She claims that she's a nun. She don't dress like a nun. You know. She dressed like a regular person out for a jog. Uh, and then she claims that uh, she's a contortionist. Used to be a contortionist before she joined the um, the, con the convent. I'm like, you were a contortionist? Yeah, for a circus, she says. Okay. And then the third, she, third crazy thing she claimed, that she's like the long-lost relative of rock singer legend D. Snyder. So I said, okay. So let me get this straight. I said, you were, you're now a nun, but you were a circus contortionist, and you were, you were, you claimed to be a rel long lost relative of D. Snyder, and she goes, "Yep." I say, "Yeah, you must be one twisted sister, huh?" Older people will get that joke. People my age will get that joke. <laughs> hey, have you heard? About the stressed out a joke about the stressed out guitarist. Yeah, the guy, the poor guy was a little strung up. And uh, <laughs> hey, hey, here's an, here's another joke for you. Have you heard about the joke about the guitarist that would not make up his mind? Ah, I heard he's a little picky. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. What is a samurai warrior's favorite soft drink from the 80s? Slice. Get it? Samurai warrior with the sword slice. The slice. <clears throat> okay. All right. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. Um... Oh, okay. Okay. What did one car say to the psychotic car? You drive me crazy. 
Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna come up with. Some, I know there's stupid jokes out there. There's a lot of stupid jokes out there. Okay, here's a Hannibal. I do. You know, when Hannibal was a huge movie back in the early 2000s, something like that. I think it was the late 90s to early 2000s. Jay Leno would come up with these Hannibal Lecter jokes. So, got some stupid Hannibal Lecter jokes. Uh, what did Hannibal Lecter get when he ate Carl Lewis? The runs. Okay. Um, <laughs> What is Hannibal Lecter's favorite Pepperidge Farm cookie? Alyssa Milano. Okay. What does Hannibal Lecter like with his eggs? Kevin Bacon. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you know, why why did Hannibal Lecter refuse to eat Pamela Anderson? Artificial toppings. You know, doesn't like artificial toppings. Um. Um. What is Hannibal Lecter's favorite chicken dinner? While, um, while watching a hockey game in Detroit, Red Wings. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna come up with a good one. Um, uh, uh, see. I gotta come up with some good ones. I gotta come up with some lame ones, though. Gotta come up with some lame jokes. Coming up with lame jokes, and then. I'm trying to finish up. I got nine minutes left till NXT. Lots going down on NXT. Um, what did one deck of cards say to the other deck of cards? Don't want to deal with you. Um, uh, let's see if I can find another. Um, 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 what celebrity did... Um, Uh, what, what is Hannibal Lecter's favorite spice? Ginger. Uh, spice girl? Ginger. Um, <laughs> uh, 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 what do you, what does Hannibal Lecter call, uh, Tommy Lee at Subway? A foot long. <laughs> I'm sorry, forgive me with that one. That one, that was really bad. That was a really bad one. Uh, all right, one last joke, and then I'll be done with this video because I think it's too funny. Um, <laughs> uh, Gelman is out of control. Gelman is out of control. Freaking Finelli, Pippa, where is freaking Finelli? Gelman, I'm telling you, is out of control. Uh, and Pippa, I'm telling you, freaking Finelli, when he told me, he told me his lame joke. <laughs> all right, okay, one more joke. Um, Uh, uh, let's see if I, uh, it's hard to come up with a funny joke. It's a, even if it's lame, okay? Uh, oh yeah, you heard about, you heard about the psychiatrist who quit his job to become a professional wrestler? Yeah, unfortunately he couldn't grapple with his feelings. There you go. All right. That's, uh, that's. Um, that's it. That's all the time we have on here on this 100th episode. I want to thank everybody, all my 110 subscribers and friends and family who supported my YouTube over the years. Um, even the moral support, thank you so much. Really do appreciate it. I'm um, here to 100 more and a whole lot more than 100, possibly 200, 300, 400. I can probably go up to 1,000. That's always been my goal. Um, I, I appreciate it. I enjoy it. I appreciate you and enjoy you guys. You know, I'm hoping to, uh, um, Hoping to bring you more of the entertainment and funny. I'm trying to get you out of the doldrums of everyday life and stupid reality and all this good and all that good stuff. And like I said before, this is my goal here on YouTube just to bring the fun and funny, you know, and you know, and just try, you know, and try to um, be real at the same time. Sometimes my life's not perfect and I'm not perfect, and you know what? It doesn't bother me one lick, and uh, I just like to have some fun. So I'll see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you in episode 101. Thank you for tuning in. I'll have a, you have a wonderful, wonderful night, and I'm ready. Six minutes. NXT, a lot of craziness going down. If you don't believe me, check the Twitter account of WWE at WWE NXT. Craziness is happening. Peace.